and I am from Gopinath Rao PU College, Australia. Now let's see the contents. Contents, assets and types of assets, libraries and types of libraries. And let's know later, let's, let us know about the comparison of assets and libraries. And at last we will come to the conclusion. Assets. The valuable things owned by the business. Owned by the business. These are the properties owned by the business. So there are three types of assets. They are current assets, are also known as short term assets. Uh, fixed assets, or it is also known as long term assets. And intangible assets. Intangible assets. Let's learn about types of assets. Current assets. Current assets are also known as short term assets. That are expected to convert to cash, convert to cash within a financial fiscal year. For example, cash and equipment, accounts receivable, prepaid expenses, raw materials, inventory, short term investments. Fixtures. These assets are acquired for a long term use in a business. Fixture assets is also known as a tangible asset. Example, land, buildings, factories, furniture, equipment. For example, if we need to start a small, a small scale industry, we need a shop or something, shop or something, shop or something to do the business, and we need a furniture for the employees, furniture, washroom for the employees. Then that is called a fixed asset. So it is less one more than money. Now intangible assets. Intangible assets are those having no physical, no physical existence, like goodwill, patents, trademarks, other examples. Now let us go to the next. Libraries. Libraries. Libraries are the obligations or records payable, payable by the enterprise in the future in the form of money or goods. Libraries can be classified as fixed, current, and contingent libraries. Examples of libraries are bank data, mortgage data, money owned by the suppliers, like accounts payable, wages on taxes. Next, types of assets, types of libraries. Fiction library. This are this this library are, are payable generally after a long period. Like capital loans, mortgage, etc. are its examples. Second one, uh, current libraries. Libraries payable in payable within a year are termed as current libraries. The value of this library is more on changing like creditors, bill, pay, bill payable, and outstanding expenses, etc. are current libraries. Next, contingent libraries. These are not real. These are not real libraries. Future future events can only decide whether it's real library or not. So, like for example, last year. Bank uh, loss if uh, these patents know how change of government policies, change in economic, uh, change in uh, foreign exchange are the examples. And let's talk about the comparison of assets and libraries. Meaning of assets and libraries. Item, items that a company owns or has a right has a right to use libraries. Obligations that a business or individual need to pay in the future. Purpose. They help in generating revenue for a company. Liabilities. They are the financial obligations that the company needs to pay in the future. Types. There are two types in assets, fixed assets and current assets. Two types in liabilities. There are current liabilities and non-current liabilities. Example for assets are machinery, lands, uh, goodwill, accounts receivable. Uh, examples for liabilities are accounts payable, loans, and more. And what is this?
depreciation. Depreciation. Fixed assets are subject to depreciation. Liabilities are always non depreciable. Now, calculating of assets and liabilities. Uh, to calculate assets, we need to take the liabilities plus owner's equity. For liability, we need to take the total asset minus owner's equity. Accounting in assets and liabilities. Increase in asset debited. Decrease in, decrease in assets credited. In liabilities, increase in liability credited. Uh, decrease in liabilities debited. Cash flow. Assets result in a flow into a inflow of cash and increase in cash balance. Liabilities result in outflow of, uh, of cash and decreases cash balance. Moderates from the balance sheet. Assets come on the right side of the balance sheet and the liabilities come on the left side of the balance sheet. Now let's go to the conclusion. Conclusion. Both are part and parcel of business. Without creating assets, no business can be possible. At the same time, if the business doesn't take any liability, then it will not be able to generate any leverage for itself. If the assets of the business are appro appropriately utilized and leverages are taken, they can only to acquire more assets. The business will thrive. But that doesn't always happen.